Hello, good morning, and welcome to News File. So last night, the Finance Ministry confirmed that $600 million from the International Monetary Fund hits the Bank of Ghana account. Now, that is the first tranche of a $3 billion package approved by the fund's executive board this week. It has been 10 months in the making. Already, the CD is strengthening against the dollar, and the credibility and confidence the economy lost over the last year may be easing. Those are the positives, but this deal also comes with a huge cost. In the last 48 hours, we have been reading the program document. They will be paying ahead, removing VAT exemptions, increasing progressivity in personal income taxes, automatically adjusting fuel levies by exchange rate movement or inflation, and containing the wage bill by limiting wage increases and hiring are but a few of the challenges and burden we all must bear on this long road ahead. So this morning, we will fully explore the benefits, but also the cost, the conditions, and the impact. Now, a week ago today, the main opposition National Democratic Congress was already two hours into its presidential and parliamentary primaries. In the end, former President John Mahama won an emphatic victory. The story was, however, different for more than 15 incumbent NDC MPs who lost their primaries and will not have another opportunity to contest in the 2024 general elections. Then came the torrent of complaints from many of the winning candidates that party executives had interfered in the process in a bid to have their favorites elected. Some, like former Minority Chief Whip Muntaka Mubarak, said it will be difficult to forgive. Some, George and Felix Wachifosu, charged the Asiru Nketiah led national executive team to enforce discipline. And then there is the Dr. Kabana Dufo element. So on the back of these primaries, is the NDC really ready for 2024? And how will the outcome of these primaries affect its fortunes next year? My name is Evans Mensa, and my guest and I will dissect the issues after this. Something is away today, and she'll be back next week. Stay with us.